Hello everybody, I hope they are good. I am. <laughs> I just woke up and I saw that all my targets are hit. So that's a good thing, you know. They thought they could trick us, but they can maybe trick me the first time. But the second time, the third time, fourth time, fifth time, no. I already caught you. I already know what you are doing. And we saw this week here that we found quite suspicious. In the context that there was a lot of liquidations in this zone at 26,400. All right. So what they were telling me here is, that, okay, you've pumped from here, leaving a long week behind that I know that wicks get filled. All right. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that you've set this wick right above a massive liquidation zone. Why haven't you hit it? Because this is a room for liquidity. And what they want is the traders open longs here. So they're going to set their stop losses right, right below the wick. So that's going to be in this zone here. And also... High leverage traders times 50 times 100 times 150 leverage traders. The liquidations are going to be also in this zone. So what they were doing was basically to increase the liquidity in this zone over here. That's why I told you yesterday, guys, this looks like a room for liquidity. It doesn't look good. This would be a red flag for opening longs. And I'm in short position. I was that clear. And you can see this. Now, thank you so much again for all your comments in the YouTube video, for all the tweets that I've been receiving in the last 24 hours. I really appreciate it. Again, I posted a tweet yesterday. You can only use these videos as confluence. Don't trade based on anybody's opinions, including mine. All right. What you have to try to do is gain your own knowledge. Okay. Master a trading system. Can be mine, can be any others. I don't mind. But you have to try to master a trading system and prepare analysis by yourself. And then with these videos, what you can do, you can learn, all right, if you want, you can, you can try to learn my trading style. Or you can use it as confluence to your charts, like another indicator, all right? But don't trade based on anybody's opinion, because that's going to make you weak in the long term. That's my advice, all right? You can see that they, come, that they came all the way to this zone. All the targets are met. I'm good. I'm out of sorts now, all right? Um, now, what I see here, sorry, let me remove all of this mess that I made here. All right, what I see here is, um, well, I see, I saw this wig, and then I thought, hmm, it's a wig, yeah, but it's not looking that bad. Why? Because if you check the volume, okay, you can see that this wig has almost the same volume as this large red candle. So what they're telling me here is, in my opinion, I might be wrong, but what they're telling me here is that they have no intentions to go lower, at least for now, okay? Now, if we get, up, up today I'm gonna favor higher prices. Why? Today is Friday, take profits day. Well, that's what I have in mind, you know, they've been going short all the week. Check this. This was from Monday, let me find Monday. So uh, this is from Monday, right? So all the way from Monday to Thursday, well, to, to Friday morning in the Asian session, that's a 9%. When are these guys going to take profits from their shorts, right? I think today we might see some kind of short squeeze and that's a little pump to the upside, all right? Where to? Well, let me first mark the zones. Um, I like, I, again, I like this candle, even if it has a long week behind, I like the candle because the volume, because it's telling me that they are pushing price back up, okay? You can check here that if you try to find another, another volume candle like that, you're not going to find it probably, okay? So that's what I like about it. Now, could we still get the week filled before going higher? Yes, why not? We could see something like this. Why not? Um, but I don't know. Something is telling me. I mean, we could see some kind of double V formation like this. Okay. We could see something like this. Because, to be honest, this comes all the way from here. I think that would be the only the only projection valid to think that they're going to come back to this week before going higher. Because, yes, they might go higher now. All right. And leave this week behind. Check the weekly time frame. We go to the weekly time frame. What do we have here? Sorry. Ah, 
we have this long wick. All right. So do we be seeing the same in the one hour time frame? I mean, the, th the thing about wicks is that you don't know when they're going to get filled. All right. You, can, you know that they're going to get filled sooner or later, but you don't know exactly when. That's when you have to find something else in the chart that can help you with the timing. Understood? Now, if we mark the zones in the chart, let me mark them for you. This would be a liquidity pool. It's quite clear. That one. Let me remove these two. That's a liquidity pool. And that would be my other liquidity pool. Okay? So, I mean, if you notice... Um, I would say that this is pretty close, but well, even, even this one, if you want, well, I buy you this one too, all right? So if you think about it, I would say that this matches with the 1 hour 50 MA. You can see that the chart is looking very, very extended because from here to the 50 MA in the 1 hour time frame is at 2.70%. That's quite a lot, to be honest. So I don't think we're going to go lower today. Uh, that's why my good feeling tells me the instinctive feeling i might be wrong but after seeing the volume in this candle saying that we are overextended from the one of 50 ma today's friday they might want to take some profits from their shorts and also these liquidity pools uh i think today it's not a good day to take shorts that's my opinion again it's not financial advice make your own analysis do your own research and you can only use this as confluence if you want. That's the only thing you can do with this video and, or try to learn. Okay. Now, I want to check what high block is telling me. I want to go to the liquidation heat maps and see if we can find some liquidity to the upside. We are in high block capital. But first, I want to see the one month time frame. I want to see how it looks like. All right. Look at that. <laughs> they thought they could trick us. But come on. Market maker, I know you're watching the videos. <laughs> How do you expect me to believe that you're now gonna come back to this zone, 26,400, after you have avoided it for $300 and you push price up? Do you think I'm gonna trust this move, market maker? Come on. <laughs> anyway, let's check the 12 hours time frame. Let's see if we can find something interesting. Let's see. Okay, um, let's get this zone. Well, yes, I mean, I can see that they've already hit 453 million dollars worth of liquidations. I mean, you can see very clearly here that there are a lot of shorts open at the moment. And they are probably going to pay the price because 26,700, you can see another yellow bar. And even at 27,225. Um, okay, let's check the seven days time frame. Let's see how this looks like. Let's get here. Okay, I see that there were some liquidations in the seven day time frame too. They hit them. Uh, now in this zone here where we are right now, it seems quite um, isolated zone. All right, you don't see any liquidity nearby really. I mean, you see some to the upside at 28K, but that's very far away at the moment. So, you know, where they traders, we're not gonna look at this level for now. All right, so this chart is not telling me that much. Now, the one month time frame, I don't think there is anything around here. Let's check. Mm, not really. 30K is way too far. Um, I would say, really, today, the most important chart. Uh, let's check the three months time frame. Oof, I mean, 25K is quite close, isn't it? You can see that. 25,400, quite close, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I think. 25,400 is an interesting zone. I think, uh, I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow, but that's my, that's my perspective, that's my opinion. And then I think the 12 hours time frame is telling me quite a lot. It's telling me that there is a lot of liquidity to the upside, really. And if we check the liquidation levels, let's see here what it's telling us. All right, you can see that this chart. It's very interesting. I love this chart because you can see that at the moment there is a total of $18 billion worth of short liquidations. Okay. This is telling me that the liquidity is to the upside right now. Check this. Total short liquidations, 434. Total long liquidations, 58. So you can see that the ratio 
it's insane it's basically telling you that one out of nine traders are right now in short pro possibly late shorters and they are probably gonna pay the price so this is what i mean if i have to choose today what direction i favor it's to the upside is to me it's clear right check all these liquidations all right you have here at 27,130 a lot of liquidity 72 millions all right with only shorts in time in leverage times 25 right but then if you see i mean check the right the chart to the right what are the spikes the spikes means you know if you see a bigger spike that means that that zone has a lot of liquidations in that zone so where do you see all those spikes you see them to the upside all right it's not looking good for shorting now guys the same as i've been telling you for quite some time this week that i was favoring lower prices and i was jumping into shorts now i can tell you that i'm favoring higher prices at the moment because i think that all these traders that are shorting late right and with late i mean at 26,500, 26,800, they haven't taken profits yet because they've just they've just joined in look at this you see all this spike here this cumulative liquidations this is spike here right this zone here that's because late shorters you can see that that jumps from 15 billion to almost 20 billion now that's five billions worth of liquidations of late shorters that's what i think let's check it i mean let's see this some all right zoom in um yes i mean look at this you see all these circles these are um basically telling you that a lot of liquidations are in this some check this out at 27,000 26,500 these guys are going to pay the price for opening shorts late right because this is what the retail trader does the retail trader is programmed to open positions when price is going into that direction okay that's called FOMO if it goes up they're gonna say this is going to 50k if it goes down they're gonna say okay this is gonna go to 20k so they're gonna start to open shorts you've seen it with your own eyes in this chart all right back to bitcoin again guys i don't have a crystal ball okay all i follow is the liquidity and also the market maker is subscribed to the channel and watches all the videos <laughs> but anyway i'm just telling you that i might be wrong this time okay it's you know it's quite a risky call okay i'm saying yes i'm saying that i don't think we're gonna go lower from here in the short term and i think that it's likely that we see a sort of squeeze to the upside that's what i'm trying to say here and i know it's risky because yes i could have said that anywhere in here okay but guess what i didn't because they always left weeks behind okay you can say weeks all the time now this time we got a week i will be very happy if we can do some kind of w formation here fill that week and then go higher okay that would be the perfect setup in my opinion could they sweep the lows something like this of course yes why not they could sweep these lows too okay now these are the liquidity pools let's do this more neatly liquidity pool and i leave this in blue okay and let's copy this so the chart looks cleaner okay and now if we mark the sessions you can see that asia dumped okay that was asia now now is it is a turn for london the european session and you can see that they are holding at the moment okay so if they hold in this zone over here in this box we could expect new york to do this okay maybe not all the way to 27k but let's mark it for now let's see i want this box okay um this is looking too messy hang on let me remove this liquidity pool for now i think it's clear that we have liquidity to the upside now uh, these are my boxes for today okay yes we have a week here 
that's your 50% and 100% of the week. Uh, what I would love to see is London holding in this zone here. Hang on. London holding in this box here. Even if they already do the job and they fail the week or they sweep the lows, fantastic. All right. And then New York to start recovering and retracing these liquidity pools over here. So that's what I think, guys. I think that this at this point is more likely that we see a short squeeze. All right. Remember that I don't trade on Saturdays or Sundays. I don't trade on weekends. So I would like to see this happening today. Now, if today we see sideways from here, okay, then we'll talk about this the next week. Let's see how the liquidation starts. Let's see if people have taken profits. But otherwise, what is still gonna expect a short squeeze? Most likely thing is that happens today, in my opinion. Let's see what, what happens. Also, by the way, you can see here massive resistance. Look at that. So I don't think I think like New York, if if today we see a real short squeeze, okay, we're talking here about uh two and a half percent move. That's quite big for Bitcoin to be honest. Now if we see a New York if we see New York going up, this one here is going to be the major resistance, you can see. So we are going to close the trade before getting there, all right? That's what I think, guys. I hope that was clear. Uh, again, we don't necessarily need to fill this week today, maybe before a short squeeze. They might leave this week for the future, okay, and then come back to it. Like the potential week in the, the, potential week in the weekly time frame. Why not? They might fill it at some point, too. That week at 20K. Why not? I can't discard it. They've been filling weeks all the time. Why not that one? That's what I think. Um, but yes, we might see London holding in this zone, and then you can expect New York to push, or you could see the same, but also with the change of a dump first to fill this week, or even sweep the lows quickly and then recover it, all right? Recover that zone. So that's what I think, guys. I hope that was clear. You know, um, I try to be neutral. I don't have any bias. I've always told you, you've seen it. I'm proving it with the YouTube channel. I don't care if it can go up or down because I'm going to trade it both ways. All right. And I'm also trying always because what I do is in these videos, really, is what I do in my daily, in my, with my daily routine. You know, I'm just doing the same, but I'm just filming it because I need to try to find a direction and a setup for my trades. So that's why I always try to be as clear as possible and, I own, and I'm not going to tell you price can go up or down, no. I've been telling you this week price is pro possibly going to go down and I'm telling you I think price is going to go up. So it's quite clear because it's also for my own trades, it's as simple as that. Most traders, well a lot of YouTubers and they're going to tell you yes, price might be doing this but uh, 25,000, um, be careful, be careful. No, I'm telling you what I think, because I know that you guys are adults. And you shouldn't take what I say as a confirmation. Okay, so if you are thinking, um, I'm going to follow Chris Movo analysis. He's saying that he's favoring higher prices. I'm going to open a loan here. No, guys, that's not how this game works. All right. <laughs> Keep that in mind. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon.